Now with all of these content descriptors and activities and elaborations and so forth, as a teacher, you need to put them all together into a coherent program. And we call this a scope and sequence. So essentially you decide which bits of the curriculum to teach first, then what to teach next and so forth. The curriculum documents themselves aren't structured into a scope and sequence. There are some that I've provided you with on the um, course website. And so you can have a look at those. But in the main, it's a decision left to the school and often to individual teachers. Now, if you're teaching with multiple teachers in your year level, generally you will come and work through and plan that together. Particularly if you're not going to be teaching the same students next year. Because as it's broken into two year bands, you need to coordinate with the teacher of the other year of the band so that you know what you're going to focus on and what they're going to focus on. So at the bare minimum, um, pairs of teachers need to get together and sort that out. But normally it's done as a fairly large collaborative effort across all the teachers in the school. But then you'll get into the more specifics of how you're going to teach um, technologies education as part of your overall program. And your scope and sequence will often also incorporate what's happening in your other learning areas, such as mathematics and science, and you'll do it all together as one big planning operation. But as we're just focusing on technologies, um, you need to think about how you're going to sequence the learning of designer technology and how you would sequence the learning of digital technologies. And mostly it's around projects, where you'll have a series of projects. These projects will address a whole range of content descriptors, and it's essentially just a matter of making sure that you haven't left any of the content descriptors out. So that through those various projects and other activities you're going to do with your students during the year, you've addressed all of the content descriptors at least once. And that your achievement standards, the way you're measuring uh, what students have learnt, address all of the content, um, ideally, at least once during the year, and hopefully more than once. So it's essentially just a, a planning process. Now, the other aspect is, though, that it can relate to the philosophy and the approach you take in your school to how you actually teach the technologies learning area. And it may be to do with the amount of time allocated for the teaching of the subjects. And that will be something that schools um, can vary with. There are some general guidelines of what it is expected that schools allocate to the teaching of the technologies learning area. And I've given you some tables that detail um, for each of the year levels how much time should be allocated. But around about half of the time available uh, for teaching subjects in schools is unallocated, where schools make decisions on how to allocate that other half. So if they decide digital technologies is particularly important, they will give extra time for the teaching of digital technologies above the minimum expectations. Now, you'll often see mathematics and English given extra time. Of course, that's a focus area of, in terms of the core curriculum. But different schools and different principals and so forth will have different focus areas. So there's a lot of flexibility in how that time is allocated out. Now, schools should address the minimum and there should be a minimum allocation. Unfortunately, it doesn't always happen. Um, increasingly, it is happening, but you will certainly still find schools that aren't addressing or providing um, the minimum allocated time for the teaching of the technologies learning area and other subjects as well that often get neglected. Um, and schools do have some flexibility in prioritizing various areas, but there is a general expectation that all of the um, core seven learning areas will receive a minimum allocation um, for the teaching of that subject area. Now, I provided you with a range of, of schools that have little snippets about how they're approaching teaching digital technologies, just to give you a bit of an idea of some of the variety. And for your activity for this section is to go and try to find another school that has described how they're teaching technologies education and submit that description of their approach to the teaching of, digit, of technologies. It may be just digital technology, it might be designer technology, hopefully it's both. And that's the um,
podcast for you to do for this section.